The gallery is one of two halves. On one side, Asaguri sketches in black, blue and brown ink on cream parchments. And on the other, a splash of colour with bigger, bolder canvases by Lloyd Chapman. Jacobo Asaguri is such a household name on the rock, seen as one of the greats, that it's impressive to see such a large private collection. This collection was um, acquired during the years by Mr. Mimon Benign. He's been collecting them and now he's exposing them to the public because it's a pity to have them stashed away, uh, such good paintings. And Jacobo Asaguri has been so well known always that you know, now it's time to bring out everything that he's got. And a great contrast because you've got the sketches by Jacobo Asaguri and then the right, Chapman. That's right, that's right. That's, that's the objective of the gallery as well. It's not only to, you know, it bring, to bring out not only s sketches but all kinds of paintings, oils, watercolours, all kinds. And, and that's the unique thing about it, that it's got a bit of everything. Hagova Sauri certainly gives recycling a new meaning, with some works using an orthodox media such as butter and milk. With portraits of a Gibraltar gone by, there may be faces here you'll recognise. As for Lloyd Chapman, he captures not only places, but events. If the significant ones, like the Garrison Library, which obviously it, it's, it's um, a mixture of uh, watercolours, oils, but uh, like about five of them from the garrison and different views of it. So it's very interesting to just not see the one picture. Then we've got um, pieces of the old chronicle, the, some pubs that have already closed and they've got another name, different places like the old theatre when it was demolished. And that, you know, says a lot, not only through the art world, but also through the history of Gibraltar. So, it is very interesting. The gallery has been involved in auctions and exhibitions and is keen to carry on encouraging cultural promotion. The space holds something for every taste and pocket, with all the works priced at under £800.